Hi, welcome to Sunny Day Stamping. My name is Julie Baca and I've got a great handmade gift stationery set to share with you today. I thought this would be great for the holidays, for Mother's Day birthday gift or a teacher appreciation. We're going to be using the uh, craft note cards and envelopes so you get 20 cards, 20 envelopes and a little cardboard box to put them all in for just $10 do some quick stamping on it, and bam, you've got a great gift. Tie it up with a bow. Um, I'm also going to show you how to um, make that box top a little more fancy if you want to, if you have the extra supplies and time to do that. So let's get started. So we're going to be using the Pretty Birds stamp set, but you can take this same concept and use um, other stamp sets that that you like. This one just really caught my eye and I absolutely love it. Um, this is the stamp set. You can also purchase uh, the die set either separately or as a bundle. When you buy stamp sets and dies together, you get 10% off. So we're not going to use this for the cards, but at the end of the video, when I show you how to kind of fancy up the uh, box that goes with it, we're going to be using this die set. Now you'll notice this one doesn't have any uh, words that come with it. So you're going to want to pair it with, um, I'm going to use go-to greetings. You guys know I love this stamp set. I use it like way too much probably. But um, you could also dig through your other stamps and see what sentiments you want to pick out of there. I love this one because it's got happy birthday, thinking of you, just a note, thank you. And that's what I want when I'm giving a box of stationery. I want them to be able to use it for lots of different occasions. So I'm going to start out with a tip. If you have a stamp set that you get it and you're like, I do not know how to use these pieces. I'm so confused, which is <laughs> exactly how I felt when I got this one. I'm like, I'm not going to know which pieces go to which birds. You can tell that it comes with an outline, but then it comes with pieces that will fill in the bird if you don't feel like coloring it. So um, I... I like to just make a map for myself so I can quickly reference um, what pieces I need to fill in. Um, and you may have stamp set at home where this would be a really useful uh, thing to make for yourself. I'm going to post a picture of this on my blog and I'll also put it on the print and make project sheet. So all the information for any of the uh, YouTube videos I make are over on my website, sunnydaystamping.com. I'll have all the measurements and everything. But for my email subscribers, I email them out this PDF that um, so that you can print and have it right there with you. So one reason why this uh, project is so quick and easy is that I'm going to use the craft note cards and envelopes. This comes in a pack of 20 cards and 20 envelopes. Here it's on page 137 of the catalog. It's just kind of hidden in here, but man, this is such a gem. And it comes with a box that it all fits in together. After we stamp a couple of these cards, I'm going to show you how to put this box top together. Another thing that's going to save you time in this project is to grab all of your blocks. And you know, it, you, you hate to spend money on a bunch of blocks, but it does definitely increase my enjoyment when I don't have to take them off in between um, stamping. That way you're going to have all your pieces ready and we can whip these out. So this is our color palette. I just love this color palette. And it gets, even though these are really bright, it's going to get more muted when we put it on this brown paper. And I just love that look. The list of all those colors and the whole supply list is going to be over on my website, sunnydaystamping.com. So, um, and I'll link it down below too. Okay, my tip for this is these craft cards, they come pre-scored, but when you stamp them, just lay, keep them flat. Don't, don't score them yet. Now, I love to... Um, use this grid paper behind. It's nice to have something to protect your surface anyway, but this is going to allow me to line up my card. You know, I should not have worn a white shirt so close to this ink. I'm going <laughs> to, I know I'm going to mess up. Okay. So here is the middle and what I'm going to do it has this cute little branch and we're going to just put it right here. And I'm just going to have this bird standing right on that branch. And I'm just going to hold it there for just a minute so the ink so soaks in and so I get a nice, good impression. Now I'm going to refer to my map and make sure I have the right pieces to fill him in. And so, you know, I'm going to have to move this over my eye. So these are photopolymer stamps, so they're clear, see-through. So you can line up your image really well on there before you press it down. And hopefully I did that right. 
Yeah, isn't that beautiful? And then you can add another color for his belly. Now you can leave him like that or you can take a, a marker and just color in his beak and his feet. And then I'm going to take this little hello out of that go to greetings. I'm going to test it here to make sure it is going to stamp straight. Yep. And I'm going to stamp that right above here. See, now this card is almost done. I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to ink up my bird. I'm just going to put it down here. So we've got a little cute little <laughs> thing on the back. Now we can be done with this right here. Just a cute little note, but I'm gonna put a little piece of very vanilla on the inside. If you're doing this project and you want to add an interior layer, um, go ahead and cut 20 pieces of this because you, you're making 20 cards and that way it's just all ready for you. Real quick, I'm just gonna add a little. I just love these little bird heads poking out. I think that's so cute and we'll just glue that on. So that's it. That's the basic concept. And um, I'm going to run through making a couple more of these to give you some ideas. And then I'll show you how to make that box. So for the next example, I want to use this bird and I need these two pieces and I'll check my map and I put them all on my blocks. Now, when you grab your greeting, you want this to be nice and straight on your stamp. So I use my grid paper to line up my uh, sentiment on there and then I press my stamp block on there. Now I'm going to test it and see, make sure that I've got it nice and straight on there. And so I had it maybe turned a little bit so now I know how to auto correct next time to get a better image, which is going to be really important on here because we um, aren't using a layer of paper. Now if you stamp it and it is cattywampus and you're not happy with it, you can always take one of your um, one of these and cut it down and put it just right over the top of there. Or you can also buy just craft paper like this in the catalog. It comes in square pieces and just put a layer right on top. All right, here we go. I'm going to just do this real fast. If you don't get it right the first time, you can just try again. It's going to make your ink darker, but it's going to look cool. Boy, I, I keep getting that wrong because my camera is right in the middle, but I think that'll be fine. One thing I forgot to say last time is we got, don't forget to decorate your envelope while you're doing your card. Just use the same stamps that you used on your card. This is my favorite stamp in the whole set and you can, um, this will fill in the stamp and then also you can add the um, tree branch right underneath them. my other favorite piece is gorgeous birdcage with the chain and we're going to do this in landscape and because I don't want my chain to extend into the back of my card I'm actually going to fold this before I stamp it this time and you want to crease that down really well if it's <laughs> if it's still sticking up pretty hard you can uh, use a bone folder to crease that down All right, so let me show you how to put your box together. Um, you're gonna have two pieces. One is much larger than the other. The larger one is gonna be the bottom of your box. And I hold it like this, where it's got the kind of rounded edge here and this long flat edge coming towards me here. So I'm gonna fold in, oh, 
it's not going to come all nice. <laughs> it comes all nice and scored, but you want to go through and you want to fold everything over so that it's all nice and burnished. That is going to make it really easy because you're going to fold in your sides like this. And then you're going to fold this towards you and tuck it in. And it kind of holds that in place. And now you're going to take this end and fold it up, tuck it in, and those little tabs just fit right in place. And then I just go through and make sure it's nice and square. I mean, that is it. And you do the same thing on the top, even though this piece looks a little different. Orient it the same way where you've got this longer edge coming towards you. You fold in your sides and your flaps. And it doesn't matter if it doesn't stay there because then once you put your top down, it holds those right in place. Then you're gonna fold this in. There you go. So once you have your box made, you can put all your great stationery in there. You could stamp on the front of this before you put it together, or I really liked it just plain, and then just add some pretty ribbon to the front. This is the gingham uh, black and white ribbon in the annual catalog. We're going to decorate this box top. Um, you're just gonna need the um, dies that go with that Pretty Birds stamp set. I love this. Look at all the wonderful, intricate little details, little feathers. You um, cut out all the birds easily, and I loved this big cage, so I definitely wanted to use that. We're also gonna add some designer series paper because that is such an easy way to add some extra fancy to anything. This is the Brights. Um, set and wow it's got dots and um, lines and flowers and all those wonderful colors and then the other thing we're going to do is some heat embossing just to give that let me zoom in just a little bit just to give that just an extra special fanciness can you see that <laughs> So now I'm just going to grab my little mini cut and emboss machine. Everything in that die set uh, fits in this mini machine. So that's great. So when you open it, you're going to have this beautiful bird cage that is really quite fine with these old rectangle pieces coming out. Save a couple of those because we're going to use them to decorate the front of our box. Now for this chain, you can see that it's got some little pieces that need to be poked out. I'm going to use my little take your pick tool, but if you have a toothpick, that will do the job too. Now we're going to cut one more thing out. I went ahead and stamped uh, this bird. You didn't need to see me do that again. And I'm doing it on very vanilla and I'm going to line it up and then just use a little piece of tape. I like to use a post-it note because they are always just close by to me. All right, we almost have all our pieces together. The last thing we need to do is stamp a sentiment. And you can just, well, I'm gonna actually flip that over. There's something on the front. You can uh, stamp it directly, but I am actually going to heat emboss mine. So I'm just gonna take my stamp. I'm using a Versamark uh, stamp pad. And I use my embossing buddy to get any fingerprints off of this piece of paper. And this is just a scrap piece of paper and I'm going to um, stamp it towards the bottom edge because I'm going to end up just trimming this off. Then I'm just going to take a scrap piece of paper. I'm just going to use my <laughs> print and make project sheet for this project for this. And I'm going to use black embossing powder and I'm going to just put it all over the top here. Close that up because I do spill it. And then you're just going to tap it real good. Turn it over. See if you see, oh my goodness. I am just a spaz. See if you see any little flecks of that around here and just get them off. And then I'm going to open my embossing powder back up and I'm just going to funnel this right back in. Now, before I actually turn this thing on, because you won't be able to hear me, I'm just going to show you that I'm going to just be kind of this far away and kind of moving the heat around. And then all of a sudden, you'll start to see the embossing powder start to get shiny and you know it's done and you're going to move on to another section of your paper then. There, isn't that beautiful? It just makes it a little extra fancy.
Now you're just gonna grab your paper cutter and you're just gonna trim this down to, si to size, just to whatever size sentiment that you have. I'm gonna trim a little more off. I didn't give you the measurements for that in case you choose a different sentiment to use. So you're just gonna stamp towards the bottom of your paper and then trim all around until it's the size that you need now what I'm gonna do is take two of those little rectangles that came out of the birdcage when we used it, because I love using scraps. <laughs> and I'm just going to put them on the end of my sentiment just to give it a little extra um, setting off that black. I thought that looked really pretty. Now we've got all of our pieces. So I'm gonna take the birdcage first and I'm gonna put some glue on here. And this is, uh, really, these are really fine. Um, so I am going to, yeah, I'm getting glue all over. It's okay. It's okay. I'm actually going to put some glue here and I'm going to take a sponge dauber so that way I can um, just move that glue around and then I'll just rinse off this bunch sponge dauber. Oh yeah, that lays really nice and flat on there. Now I'm actually going to glue this on top of my box right now because I'm actually gonna, I want my chain to extend around the corner of my box. I just thought that would look cool. Well, you can't see, I'm, I'm too zoomed in, sorry. Now we'll take this chain, we'll do the same thing while we're put a little glue here on our sponge dauber. And I'm gonna attach it right there at the top and then wrap it wrap it around. Whoops, it popped off. There, I think that looks so cool. Now we're gonna glue our bird on here. Just gonna put a little bit on his feet. Let's see, does he need more than that? Oh, and we'll put some on his tail. That'll also touch. We're just gonna have him sitting, let's see, just maybe right on top of that in. Now we'll put some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of this. I'm gonna put maybe more than I normally would because um, they're gonna be opening and closing that box. So the placement of this is gonna differ depending on how big uh, your sentiment is. Okay, it needs one more thing. Okay, to finish this off, I just want to use this gingham ribbon because I think it's so, so pretty. I did tie a bow for this, but I just thought it's almost just way too big. And so I thought what would just be easier than that is just to tie just a simple knot. Just like that. Don't, don't uh, pull it too tight. Let's see, where should we put it? Right there? That would be good. Where are my glue dots? We'll just add one little glue dot on the bot back of here. I actually really like it right here. And then we'll just trim it off. There, isn't that so cute? So now we'll just fill our box. Those are the ones we made together. But I also wanted to show you some other examples of some more horizontal uh, landscape orientation. I hope you are having just a blessed holiday season. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to watch my channel. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. You can also subscribe and hit the little bell button to get notified every time I put a video out. Thank you so much for watching. Have a sunny day.